Are you a big coffee drinker? Hell no, I was just gonna ask. Hell. <laughs> hey, I've been getting their like bubble tea here. I drink is... tea. But, coffee? But do you drink bubble tea with the little balls in there? Oh, bubble tea. Oh. Bubble, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's pretty good though, man. Yeah, what is that called? I've heard boba, and uh, then boba, that's what it is. but this place says bubble. What's going on, everyone? This is Adrian Alvarez with the Nicola Group at Rio T Executives Premier. Today we're out at the Crown Point Square, gonna go and try out Sip Coffee House out here in Crown Point. Uh, today we're gonna talk to the manager Alec, have a drink, maybe try some food, talk about the business a little bit, and just get a better idea of what Sip has to offer. My name is Adrian Alvarez with Real T Executives Premier with the Nicola Group. Today I'm with... Uh, my name is Alec Fletes. I'm the general manager of the SIP here. Thank you so much for having us here, man. Seriously, it's one of my favorite restaurants out here in the square. Uh, today we're going to talk to Alec just about like his experience here, how long he's been working, you know, favorite menu items, things like that. So, uh, first of all, man, how long have you been here? So, I've been working here about um, five years, I think three months now. It's been a quite big part of my life. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, every time I come here, I see you working somewhere. I feel like I need to know who you are at that yeah. some point. Um, do you have any like specific menu items that you know you've helped make or that you love to order for yourself? Or anything that you know, that's like your go-to. Well, the go-to, my favorite drink right off the bat that's on menu now is called the Lucky Go chocolate hazelnut sea salt cinnamon, delish, hot or iced. For food, um, I would definitely say the most popular item is the Tim's Twisted Chicken. It's a sandwich that just always sells. Pistachio cranberry chicken salad sandwich sells a lot. My personal favorite is uh, probably like the pot roast. Oh, I have not had that. Yeah, I'm or okay. avocado toast. One's heavy, one's light. So Yeah, the avocado toast I usually get before the gym. Is yeah, that like the yeah. lighter one or is that heavy? That's the lighter one. Oh, okay, okay. I like that one yeah. too. And, uh, pot roast is like a dinner item. I got you. So, um, I was gonna ask in terms of like your experience here. Do you have any like I don't know? I, I guess like stories of like people's first time here, like trying it. Because I feel like I never knew about this place until I started working at the square. But I felt like it's become one of my favorite spots. And I'm sure you have like people who come here all the time, like regulars and stuff like that. Like, what's your experience with that and like getting to know? Oh yeah, favorite. it's kind of crazy. People are like, I drive past the square all the time and never notice this place. Yeah. Um, I love blowing people's minds. Yeah, with different when they drinks. Come yeah, and the mason jar just blows the minds, the presentation, the pasta. Uh, we get people from all around the world, though. I get people from Australia, uh, Japan, and Damn, from really? California. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, in terms of the pasta, that's something I just thought of right now. Do you guys put Parmesan cheese or like, what, what is on top of that pasta? Yes, it's Parmesan. That's it? Yeah. Like you guys Everyone are, always is like, there's a conspiracy that there's something else in it. Like, it's just straight Parmesan. I, yeah, so they have the pasta salad that comes with it. Does that come with like every meal pretty much? Or? Uh, all lunch. Basically not breakfast, everything else. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with pasta salad, like I'm not a huge fan, but when I had that Parmesan cheese, that's probably the only time I finished all my pasta salad. So that stuff is, that stuff kicks ass, honestly. It is so good. And then in terms of like your drink specials, do you come up with those? Or like, is that like a team thing? Because I know there's different specials all the time. Honestly, it just depends. The seasonal drink specials, Highland, Sierra Lake, and the Crown Point, we all negotiate and work it out. For the daily drink specials, it's honestly the employees. Okay. For a while, we didn't really, when I first started, taking consideration of employees' drinks. And then we started letting them, you know, I'm always like, tell me what you want to make, and we'll test it out. We made like bar amount of lemonade that was a big seller. Um, some of the drinks now, you know, Cream Soup was one that some of the employee came up with. So, I was just 
gonna say Noah got lavender lemonade. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Yeah. yeah. So it's just the overall picture is all the locations negotiating. The daily, weekly specials is the employees, and then uh, every once in a while we'll change the menu okay, and awesome. add stuff on, like the Lucky Goat. Like yeah. Just push it so, uh, how many locations are there? I know the Highland ones. There's, I would say, 3.5. Uh, the reason why I say 3.5 is one's a kiosk and a hospital. Oh, okay. Munster. And we have the Sear Lake one, Crown Point, and Highland. Okay, awesome. And, and in terms of drink specials, you said that some of them do differ, or they usually have the same drink We all usually have the same. Once in a while, the, the weekly drink specials are different. But those, you know, the seasonal summer drinks are all the same. So my last question for you, man, which would be like your favorite part about working here, the environment, or the food, the employees, like, what's your favorite thing about coming here to work? My favorite thing about coming to work, honestly, it's not as cheesy as the customers. You know, you get some bad ones, but honestly, most people here are amazing. You learn the life stories, you learn the craziest job. I love asking her, what do you do for a living? Because yeah. you find the craziest stuff out there. Um, the customers keep the everything new every single day. Both the regulars, it's nice to have, but it's a new day every day. I wake up and I'm like, what's today going to be? Yeah, Good, bad, sure. crazy, fun. Um, otherwise, I honestly would have been here for five years. Just cause yeah, the yeah for sure. Keep it great. All right, well, thank you so much, Alec, for sharing yeah. that, sharing your story about SIF. One of my favorite places to come out in the square. So if you guys ever have a chance out here in the Crown Point Square, uh, there are the Highland location as well, right? And Cedar Lake. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Adrian Alvarez with the Nicola Group at Rio T. Executive Career. Thanks so much.